Hello loves and welcome <laughs> to the vlog. Um, we just stopped by my favorite breakfast spot and I'm having my favorite breakfast. Um, babe is getting coffee from Duncan. Um, and we're gonna go, go do laundry and I have a ton of readings to do and I have to do the live. I didn't do the live on Monday, the weekly healing circle because your girl has been exhausted lately. I've been hella sluggish lately. Um, and it's not like unmotivated. No, I've been just tired. Um, so I've just been letting my body rest. I've just been listening to my body. Um, it's been a whole process, but I'm going to kind of share with you guys what's going on this week and let you guys, you know, into the stuff. This is going to be a busy week. Um, me and babe's anniversary is coming up. We're going to make three years. Um, lots of fun stuff. I'm really excited. Also, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take you guys along with me. Hello loves, good morning. <clears throat> I just woke up and I just finished brushing my teeth and I'm gonna go ahead and do my skincare um, cause I like to take care of my skin twice a day. So in the morning and the night. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my face uh, with my Radiant Skincare um, system from Duval. I love this, this is just amazing. And it just like kind of wakes me up um, and I'm gonna have this before I have coffee um, because I need, I feel like I'm still a little I'm still a little drowsy, so I need to wake up because I have a lot of readings to do today. So, yeah. Um, if you want to get your hands on this, um, you can use the code TIGERA in all caps for 70% off, um, which is an amazing deal. So, definitely recommend. Really, really love it. It's amazing. Um, I literally take showers with it and everything with the, with the body brush, but I love using the um, face brush just to wake up my face and before I go to sleep. It's just like a really nice massage. It helps me relax. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna let my skin just kind of drink all the skincare and then we're gonna do um, my makeup a little bit later cause I have some videos to film for you guys. So yeah. Okay, so I just got a little something in the mail from Victoria's Secret, which I'm really, really excited about because I've been dying to get this order. They were having like a sale um, to get uh, the perfume. And you guys know I've been wanting this perfume for a couple years. I just keep forgetting to buy it because I don't shop at Victoria's Secret anymore. And so this is like a keepsake box, but I think it's absolutely freaking adorable. So I got the Love um, 3.4 uh, ounce perfume, the mist, and the lotion. I had a discount, so I ended up saving like $60 on this whole entire thing. Um, which is why I like bit the bullet and just got it because I'm like their thing doesn't go on sale and because it's Valentine's Day They're doing this whole special. Okay, so I just got ready. I am like I this is the <laughs> Juicy Couture um, two-piece set that I got at um, the thrift store for like I don't even know. I don't remember like what the price was, but I definitely didn't cost the price that it, they usually do um, anyway um, I'm gonna head out to go run some errands and I'm gonna just do my makeup real quick. I'm gonna keep it very, very simple, very basic. I always say that and then it ends up being a sparkly situation, so. Okay, makeup is done. I kept it really like me. I have like a little purple on here. Um, just kept it really like natural, but with the little hints of a little sauce. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go run out um, and do the thing. Um, Pink wants to say hi though. Pink, baby. Oh, she's doing yoga. Hi, baby. Oh. Hi, my baby. I didn't know the flash went off. I'm feeling a little bit hungry now, so I'm just gonna have, um, I'm gonna toast up a slice of toast. This is the Dave's Killer Bread, um, but this is like supposed to be on the keto side, um, like if you look at the, the back of it. So one slice is like 17 grams of carbs, which is a little much, but we got the bigger bread instead of the tiny one. They do make like a smaller one that's like half the carbs, but still I'm like, it's fine. Uh, so I'm just gonna toast up the raisin bread in the toaster and then put some cream cheese on it and call it a snack because your girl's a little hungry and I'm about to order an Uber because babe's at work and she cannot drive me. And I do not have my license, so. So yeah. it's like high protein, but like not super, you know, like not very, very carby, um, but it's gonna keep me full, so, which I like. And I'm not gonna eat till later on, so this is good. Um, so I'm gonna have this. I'm just gonna bless over them and pray over them because I like to activate my eggs when I'm eating them for different things. 
Um, so I'm gonna pray over them oh. and then I'm going to wait till the water boils and then, you know, let them cook. Okay, so I just kind of finished making my snack. I just um, did the cream cheese and I added some mozzarella on top because I just, I was feeling a little cheesy and I left my yolks very yolky and I'm about to go eat this and then I'm gonna run out. So I just got back from uh, Victoria's Secret and Panera Bread. I got some, uh, like a snack, like some food. Um, so I can basically like eat. The whole Panera situation was a hot mess though, but I had to go to Victoria's Secret because I had to exchange my perfume because when I opened it and I sprayed it, um, it literally smelled very like alcohol. And I was like, okay, no, I, I've, I've done this rodeo before with Chanel Mademoiselle where that happened. I bought it at Victoria's Secret and for some reason like, the five that I bought, like I bought one, I returned it then because of the alcohol thing. And then it happened again. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to go to a different, like a Sephora. So I, and I ended up exchanging it and finally it was smelling correctly, but I had to exchange it because um, your girl did not just buy this perfume for no reason. And I also got the two for, um, they ha they're having a buy one, get one free of like roller balls and stuff like that. So I got me the love roller ball which I didn't have before and I got me the T's one um and it took me like forever to kind of make the decision to get the T's one because I've always liked the perfume but when I was trying to smell it in the store for some reason I was spraying it and I couldn't for the life of me smell it because it just smelled like so much like perfume in there so I got the T's one and I'm gonna just throw that in my bag um and call it a day and I'm just gonna have some food right now I'm gonna take this out I just put on some Good Fortune incense, which works really well, by the way, um, because I'm about to do my offertory candles to um, my ancestors and my guides. Um, and usually I do like a petition candle. I usually do um, tea lights. So it's just it's been working really, really well for me because I haven't been working as much seven day candles as I usually do. And I've been going through a lot of incense. Like if you look at the incense like that I have, you guys know I bought a lot of incense um, recently. Let me just put this light off. Um, you guys know that I, every time I go to the Botanica, I buy a lot of incense. Y'all, I be going through it so quickly because your girl likes to, you know, keep the energy fresh. So, yeah, burning a lot of incense. So, right now I'm doing that. I'm going to do my um, two offertory candles. Um, so, I have two tea lights. I'm going to just put it through the smoke just to cleanse it. Um, then I'm going to go and um, put the oils in there. So, let me just, I literally just got back. <laughs> so I'm putting the light on. Um, so I'm going to put the oils in there. I have like a specific routine that I do just back to back and it works really well. And it's efficient. It's it's really great for really quick spells and for things coming through really, really quickly. So I highly recommend. So I got the herbs in there. I'm sorry. I got the oils in there. I'm going to go ahead and add my herb blend um, that I like. I like to take a bay leaf just to amplify the intention. I'm praying over it and then I burn it on the tea light that I'm using specifically for manifestation. So I'm doing one as an ancestral offering and then the other one um, as a manifestation. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to activate this bay leaf and then I'm going to burn it. So in. now that I got my ancestors, my spirits all settled, I'm going to go ahead and eat. I'm um, probably put on a movie and then I'm going to just throw myself into readings after that. I'm going to try to upload a couple, there's a couple videos I just finished editing that I just need to upload and post for you guys. So I'm probably going to do that as well. So babe got me these beautiful, um, really bougie flowers for Valentine's Day. They literally came from Paris. So I literally just trimmed them and I'm going to be saving literally the petals, everything, even the water. I already like, they came in these little tubies. They came in these little like tubies, like the, each stem was in here. And I like saved the water that was left uh, because that's going to be used in spell work as well. Um, because we don't waste anything, okay? <laughs> we don't waste anything. You don't just like buy me flowers that are shipped over from paris um which is literally you know the city of love and expect me not to you know say y'all know i'm too smart for that so i'm gonna be saving every single petal everything is being saved um right now the bouquet is sitting in my ancestral altar because i do want my ancestors to enjoy the energy as well um but yeah, it was, it was really sweet because, babe, I like to call her a Valentine's Day Grinch because she hates Valentine's Day. 
but our anniversary also falls this week so like i always joke with her and i'm like at least i get to celebrate something but she ended up getting me flowers <laughs> I will say though, like the flowers definitely carry a different vibration. Just holding them, the roses, different vibration altogether. They really, really have like, there's the softness, but also this power to them. And they smell amazing. I really wish that you guys could smell these flowers though, because I've never been able to smell the scent of the flowers and of any bouquets that I've ever gotten in the United States. I don't know if it's because they add chemicals or what it is, but like when it comes to like US flowers, I can't smell like none of the like all oh, you know how women like pick up the flowers they put them in the nose like oh they smell delicious I've never been able to smell that it just kind of smells like greens <laughs> to me but these flowers have a scent to them they're very powdery floral like I can literally go in and describe them like I, I'm starting to understand why Paris is like known for their fragrances and their perfumes and stuff like that because you can actually smell the thing with the flowers with the bouquet so I, I don't know I, I really really love the way they smell they're very very like sensual very powdery I don't know how to describe it it just smells amazing yo girl's gonna have some coffee and then I'm gonna get started on readings for the day I have to finish um doing the workbook so I can email it to everybody because tomorrow is the workshop okay so I just got two orders in from what I ordered before I ordered a pack of these um I think it's six or is it seven seven um of these incenses so i got positive vibes um i know i got i think one is dragon's blood let me open this so i wanted to try these this is um it's like a incense set for this company um so i got patchouli dragon's blood lavender sandalwood positive vibes um i wanted to try some of the other ones that they make because i usually get these from him <laughs> um okay so I think I got this for my birthday, actually. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> so I always get myself a little something. And you guys know I just spoil myself on my birthday season. That's just what it is. So let's see what I got in here. Wee. Oh, wow. This is how they do their, their packaging. Interesting. So um, I got a free makeup pouch. Um... It just says, uh, like, CD for Christian Dior. And these, this I got for free. I used, like, a promo code or something. Um, so I got a free makeup pouch. So that's going to be for my makeup. Um, oh, my God, yes. Okay, there's a whole story behind this. <laughs> so let me explain. This is the Poison Girl perfume. I first smelled this when I was in the duty free, like at the airport. Um, they usually have the Poison Girl at the duty free, and I fell in love with the scent. But like, I just like didn't never commit to it. So every time I go on the plane, I always smell it. And um, this is the rollerball, and it's actually the bottle is kind of in a cool shape. I'm gonna buy the actual bottle bottle, but I wanted the roller ball so I could stick it in my purse. It smells divine. It smells I got this is the other uh, toilet. They sell the perfume in the duty free and it's literally they only sell this perfume internationally so I was surprised to find it in the Dior website. Um this is a lip glow addict in rosewood. So this is like um a lip balm in the color rosewood which hold on let me just I'm holding the thing. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Ignore my nails because I have to redo them. Um, but yeah, I wanted to try this one because I'm a huge fan of like tinted lip balms because um, I'm obsessed with the fresh ones. And I got the serum, what's it called? Daily Nutritive Serum. Oh, this is for my nails. Um, so Dior has this like kind of like nail uh, collection thing. This is for my nails. Hold on, if I can get it out. This is like an oil for my nails and it's supposed to be really good for like my cuticles and stuff um, when I do my nails. And um, I was recommended this so I was like, you know what, since I'm getting something from Dior, I might as well just get it. And oh yeah, I'm like, there should be a little baggie in here with extra things. 
So I got two samples, one of Dior and one of Miss Dior. Um, I have beef with Miss Dior. This is one of the reasons why I haven't bought from Dior before. This is like my first time buying anything from Dior. And I also got a deluxe sample of the Dior Attic Lip Maximizer, which I don't need because I have very plump lips. Thank you to the ancestors. I'm just going to open this up, but the packaging is like chicka pow, chicka pow, chicka pow. It's like I'm at the disco. Um, <laughs> it's like this. It's a little deluxe sample, so this is just going to go in my bag. Wow, look at that reflection. Whoa. Baby, you're like struggling. Oh my god. 